I'm here at WIPO. It's in the, just after 6 p.m. on the 19th of April. I'm talking to Dan Pescott, who's the uh, lead for the World Blind Union in the negotiations. Dan, can you tell us how things have gone this week? Well, I'm not sitting here full of inspiration and enthusiasm tonight, unfortunately. Um, not because the negotiators have failed to negotiate. They have been negotiating, and that's encouraging. We've seen previous sessions where they've not really negotiated even. But the problem is they seem to be um, concentrating all their efforts on discussing copyright law and on how best to protect rights holders um, rather than focusing on how best to ensure access for blind people. And whilst we have nothing whatsoever against rights holders, um, they are already protected. Publishers and others are already protected by international law. What this initiative should be about is opening access for blind people. And we, we see far too much discussion centered around extra protections, guarantees, reassurances for publishers and rights holders who already have those protections in, in existing law. Is, uh, uh, could you focus a bit on the positions of the different parties, starting with maybe the European Union, um, the United States, and then the, uh, the three major uh, developing country blocs, the uh, Asia group, the Africa group, and the uh, Latin America. I know you can't sum them all up completely because there's different opinions, but give people a flavor of how how things are playing out in those different groups. It's, it's extra difficult for me to sum that all up accurately because I have only been in a small fraction of all of the, uh, the, the, the meetings that have taken place here and only been able to hear a small amount of it because I've had various other meetings that I've been asked to attend during this period. So with that caveat, I would say that as a general rule, most countries in the world um, that are represented here are very strongly in favor of access for blind people and print disabled people. They want a clear, effective, simple text to achieve that. So with my complaint that too much time is being spent talking about protecting rights holders' interests, which are already protected, that complaint doesn't actually apply to most of the negotiators here. It only applies to one or two. Um, it would appear that a lot of the um, strong positions that are being taken to add extra protection for rights holders would bring extra complications on the ground for organizations like mine, RNIB in the UK, when it comes to using this treaty, and that's what we're concerned about. The countries that are taking those positions tend to be, or the, the negotiating blocks tend to be the richer countries who have uh, significant publisher lobbies. Um, and on the other side of the fence, as it were, simplifying somewhat, uh, the Africa group, the Asia group, and the group of Latin American countries are by and large very strongly in favor of a very simple, effective law which would help us uh, blind people's organizations and blind individuals get access to books. How would you characterize the EU position? I haven't seen too much of what is, or heard too much of what the EU has said this week. Um, so I, I don't want to go on record uh, talking about the detail of that until I've looked very carefully through the detail of what they have been saying this week. Um, we will uh, definitely be looking at that carefully and I'll be talking to colleagues who've been listening to all of the audio feed that's come out of this meeting um, so that I get a, a much clearer idea of what the EU has been saying. I know that they went into these negotiations insisting on complicated clauses on proving that a book is not commercially available before you can use this treaty to send accessible books to blind people, which is unworkable for us. They've had grave concerns about this treaty allowing the distribution to blind individuals in other countries, which is unworkable for us. And they have um, had concerns about allowing uh, this treaty to uh, facilitate the distribution of digital works um, where those works have publisher padlocks put on them, so-called technical protection measures. Um, so there are, there are issues there where they've come into this discussion um, with positions that we don't agree with, but I need to see the detail of what they've actually been saying in this meeting to be sure of whether they have softened or are continuing with such a hard line, and I haven't been able to do that yet, I'm afraid. And how would you describe the Obama administration in this, uh, this session this week? Well, uh, again, having not listened to all of the discussion, I, I, I'm not sure I have a, a perfect view of it, but what I do uh, hear is the, the US um, apparently wanting to reopen some of the, what I would call almost copyright ideology discussions um, 
in in this uh, committee uh, linked to this treaty. I believe they're under a lot of pressure from some rights holder groups in the USA. And the problem with that is that we are running out of time. And if we are spending all of our time discussing how this links with the broader copyright uh, legal system that we have in the world, we're not spending that time finalizing this treaty, which is supposed to be finished in two months' time. Uh, before I let you go, is there anything you'd like to add in closing? Yeah, I mean, this, this has to be a treaty that provides access to blind and partially sighted people and other print disabled pe people. And to do that, it needs to be simple. And we think it can be made simple. We think it can be practical and workable um, for blind and partially sighted people. Um, but only if the negotiators are willing to negotiate that sort of treaty. And we feel that um, whilst a lot of discussion has, has gone on here, about things like the so-called three-step test, which sounds completely esoteric, but which matters a lot uh, in the copyright world. We have just one step uh, test, a one-step test for World Blind Union, uh, and that test is, will this thing work in practice on the ground? If it will work for blind people, if we can use the law that comes out of this discussion to make books available to blind people, then it's a great success. If we have a treaty that doesn't allow us to do that, then that's a total failure. Thank you, Dan. Thanks. Is that okay?